Hello and welcome to Cybercast episode 291, the Transforming Action Figure Podcast Show. We are we're going to introduce a few things that we're going to be uh, changing, uh, kind of going forward uh, here in the near future. But before we get into that, uh, let's go ahead and get into intros. Uh, Rick, where can people find you, man? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and sometimes Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. You can find me here on YouTube as Sportimus and on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as Sportimus Prime. And you can find me, G1Xtron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1Xtron. So uh, first off, we do have a collection spotlight. We have Dalton sending his uh, collection in. Uh, you can also follow him at uh, Daltinian's TF. Is it Daltinian's TFs or Daltinian's Reviews? I think it's the Daltinian's TFs. Yeah, I think so. I'm sure if you put Daltinian's in there, mm -hmm. then it's going to be the only thing that pops up, so. Anyways, or you can find him. Uh, he's also in the suggested uh, in my YouTube, I believe, as well. So uh, you can find him that way. But uh, we're going to take a look at his collection. Uh, if you want to have your uh, collection spotlight on the show, no matter how small or large it is, if you've sent it in uh, maybe a long time ago, you've got a bunch of new stuff, or you updated your collection room and you want to kind of show it off, uh, you can take those pictures, send them in an email to me at g1hexatron at gmail.com. Uh, just make sure that you say like how many emails you sent. So if you sent three, you'd do, you know, one of three, two or three, three or three, 10 emails, you do the same thing. So I uh, just want to get into that. Uh, no Mount Rushmore today. Didn't have prep for that. Uh, but before we kind of get into your figure of the week, I don't know if I have one. I might, I might have to choose from like last week again, because since it was a, like a, a pretty decent haul. Uh, Kind of the way we are thinking of, or what like Rick and I were talking just prior to the show, is instead of being what we have usually always have been, uh, and that is, um, you know, covering all the news. So every little thing, um, cutting back on that and cutting back on it a lot, kind of doing a here's the highlights of, you know, what Rick thought was interesting over the past couple weeks and same thing for me and same thing for sport. So we'll just kind of pick out some highlights that we thought uh, that were interesting to us. That way we can still screen screen share them, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, you know, we can go in discussion more and also bringing some topics back. Cause I know we used to do that towards the end of the show. And we also did a galactic gumbo at the end, uh, you know, another show at the end. So, I uh, figured that that's something that we could all also do is kind of combine the two. So making the news segment a little bit shorter, uh, only color, uh, covering the highlights, and then kind of bring some topics back. So I uh, figured that might be a little bit more interesting for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get into your figure of the week. Uh, or first off, real quick, uh, Mitch Daltinian, the Duke, Mark, what's up? You're joining us. Uh, what you got for figure of the week? Uh, well, I got about four four items. Um, let's see. We could go with. Uh, why don't we start with Transformers? So I rarely have. Um, I rarely highlight Transformers, and you know we all about Transformers. So I've got Galvatron from Big Bad Toy Store about maybe a week or two ago. I guess I've gotten their first batch. Usually, uh, BBTS kind of sends them sends them out a little later. Um, but it was a good surprise. I think he's a pretty good figure. Uh, definitely the best Galvatron that I've gotten um, outside of like the, you know, the big premium like fan stories and stuff. This is a good mainline Galvatron. I didn't really have a whole lot of issues with him. I thought that one part of his transformation was kind of difficult. There's some pegs on his underside in cannon mode. They'll drive you crazy when you first do it. The second time was fine. Uh, other than that, a good solid figure um other stuff i got i think last show i talked about a little bit of some of the stuff and i was getting it in i got castle grayskull from uh mega construct yes. and uh i put that together you can find a, a quick video i put up this week on instagram uh, same name there on the screen you can find it nice and the other thing i got in i think last show i had got in the Hasbro reissue Ecto one. And so now, now I'm kind of sucked down that hole just a little bit. I've put together just a little shelf of 
real Ghostbusters stuff, which I've never had. I mean, I had some Diamond Select that I had on the shelf, but mm -hmm. never these. But now that Hasbro is reissuing, along with me going back and getting some of that 80s, 90s, oh, this thing, man. I've never had the Ecto-2. I have not cracked it open yet. It's boxed. And nice. I'm excited about it. I may open it. I kind of want to wait and see if Hasbro is going to reissue it before I do, but I'm excited about it because I've never had it and I've always wanted that too. Really cool. And then I um I opened up, let's see if I can get this guy without knocking off all his stuff. <laughs> so I got the Beskar Mando and I finally opened him up. I've got his little um his little mm -hmm. Camtono that he keeps his little Beskar, that little portable safe he's carrying around. Um Man, this figure is really nice. He's got, you know, the little options for the shoulder. He's got all the stuff that the first one had just better. It just looks sleeker. My first one I'm going to put on the Blurg once once they ship that out next year. But mm -hmm. this one comes with a um, little baby Yoder that everybody baby seems like. Dakota's little friend. <laughs> so you get, you get him in the pram like that, and he's got, like, the little – a little base that matches the other mm -hmm. base, but then you also get, you know, him kind of, you know, walking around being all inquisitive and like baby Yoder does. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, cool. Yeah. That's my highlights from the last two weeks. Sweet. What was, uh, or did you get something new sport? I did. All right, I get? did, I did, I did. I went back in time, and I've got a little bit of the nostalgic retro feel, so I've been playing on eBay. So I got myself Armada Megatron, mint in box. I love Armada Megatron. I've wanted this for so long, and I wanted one mint in box because of the electronics. I don't want anything wrong with it. So I yeah. finally found one at a good price that's nice and fresh. So I can go pew pew all I want with him. So they they didn't put the batteries in them prior. I, I don't think so. Either way, it's not been played with at least. So okay, yeah, yeah. that's always the thing that whenever yeah. if there's electronics and you know like a lot of them is like here's a button, push it, you know, yeah. and then whenever you start thinking about vintage stuff, yeah, uh, I'm not talking TF Source vintage. I'm talking like actual real vintage stuff, right? Uh, you know that the corrosion, you know, you kind of want start to wonder about that, you know, with the battery being in there for, you know, 20 yeah. or 30, 35 years, whatever. So, well, there's no, there's you. no, there's no try me or anything like that here. So it's just, that. okay. Yeah. That's good. I'll tell you one thing about those Armada toys. Last year I went through and took the batteries out of a lot of stuff. I usually go through every few years and just make sure I actually put them back in. Cause I like to play with, so I'll go in the room and pick something up. The mm -hmm. Armada toys were not corroded, believe it or not, none of them. And I took, you know, changed out all the batteries last year, which is crazy because I don't know what year that came out, but it was a long, long time ago. Uh, they made it through. So I think oh four. Yeah. That's some, some good batteries, man. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got uh Energon Megatron. The Great big figure. one. I yeah, had a smaller man. one too, but I wanted the big one as well. So yeah. It's same same reason. I wanted fresh because it's got you know uh electronics in it so lights and sounds these things had a lot of character and they're heavy suckers they put a lot of plastic in these things the things have changed quite a bit since. oh then, right? i know and this one too this is from 1995 g2 optimus prime it's another good one and i've got uh, the nemesis or scourge i should say on the way as well those boxes look pretty pristine. Like I'm looking at the corners and yep. everything. I don't see any creases or like I, that looks better than the, I saw the, okay, we'll get into it later. But the <laughs> Joe's, Joe's in store, the three and three quarter, every single one of the cards bent and then yeah, the no. bubble crushed every single one of them. You yeah. know why? These are thicker. This is thicker card stock. Yeah, dude. I can oh, yeah. I can I can throw this across the room like a football and I swear it might bend aside but it's so solid it's super the way that they used to make things man mm -hmm. and last <clears> but not <throat> least courtesy of Dalton thank you Dalton Daltonian's TFs I got myself flocked Panther 
at Walmart. Oh, well, nice look out. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Dalton. Good, good, good man. Hook up. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to open this or not, but these boxes are so nice. I'm a, I'm not a minted box guy, but it's a shame to open them almost, you know? <laughs> I left that one in the package. All the rest of them I've opened. The flocked one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Left that one in. Yeah. Oh, what you what are you trying to start, Rick? I see you sipping over there on your Steelers cup. I think we see each other in the preseason. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I, haven't looked at, I haven't looked at the schedule yet. I saw it. Uh oh. Rick's starting something early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did y'all see the logo? Did I get it close <laughs> enough to camera? I don't know if I did. Uh God, what real yeah. quick. Uh I saw someone on Facebook. They posted uh, since 2000, the Patriots and the Cowboys have combined for six Super Bowls or something like that. And like some Cowboy fan, like I didn't even have to do it. And he was just like, I forget what date, but he was like from this date to like 1995, the Patriots and the Cowboys have been in nine Super Bowls. So I was kind of, wow. a, do, you, do you get it? Do you, do you get the joke though? Oh yeah, the cow the Cowboys haven't oh, won a Super it. Bowl since two thousand, and the Patriots didn't make any Super Bowl before ninety five. It was just right. we haven't been good since ninety five, and they only started being good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some people that joke probably was, yeah. But <laughs> anyway, Is that all? Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna go name through a lot. Um, I I do want to say this just by uh. Next show, we're going to do kind of our, our halfway point of our top figures of the year of 2021. So uh, we may – I don't know how if y'all want to do like 10 or 15 or whatever. But uh, I, I was telling Rick, I was like, dude, this this is going to make it for me. As soon as I got her out of package, I'm like, again, nice job with combining the, the cloth goods and, <sighs> you, know, the, you know, the plastic. Just like the – Marion Guard, you know, like this. This is a really solid looking figure, and I love Ventures. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, Star Wars. They came out with uh, quite a few, you know, good figures. Um, you know, the Target exclusives. Oh, I do want to say that uh, if anyone sees an Obi One for the Target exclusives, it'll it'll be in a package like this. I need it. Uh, and also, if anyone's needing a G.I. Joe classified major blood, uh, my store had one. So I picked up an extra one and went ahead and bought it. So if anyone's needing that, then you can just get in contact with me on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And it's cost plus shipping. So just yeah. just helping out how we can. Nice. All right. So um, let's see. You know, I guess we'll just get into collection spotlight because uh, we have already covered, I think, before support got in. So we... All right, so collection spotlight. We've got Dalton's here. Uh, oh, and uh, let's see, action figure expert joins us as well. Cameron's here. And uh, Tara, uh, how, how are you? And uh, Cameron says, I got it, was going to answer, but uh, you got you got to answer it first. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. So uh, Dalton also says that he has some uh, G1 masterpieces, but he didn't have them on display. Why, man? Those are, those are the, the primo. Things yeah, that, right take, that takes priority. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I do like this back here though with the yeah Chronicons though. I didn't I didn't I didn't bite on that. I, I I do like the way it looks and stuff, but man, those prices were like more expensive than the other ones for some reason. And they'll probably do the Insecticons again. You think? I hope so. They might. Make them bigger, hopefully. Yeah, I'm thinking like deluxe. Yeah. That they they may make them the yeah. deluxe or the the yeah they'll kind of do them like they did the cliff jumper and bumblebee maybe to where yeah if they throw in some energon cubes in there or something to make mm -hmm. up for it. 
Yeah, just make them really solid, you know? Yeah. And after, like, we, we all have these little guys, and, like, they did such a good job, like the Beachcomber and mm-hmm. uh, uh, God, what, what am I thinking? Sea Sprite. You know, all, all these, yeah, all these little guys, yeah. they, they did such a good job, and then they come out with the Warpath, and you're like, I wonder if they'll they'll up scale those as well, or if they're gonna leave Warpath what he is and leave these smaller ones the way they are because he should be larger because he is a tank. You know that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. I still love that Triptychon. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, he's, yeah, he's so good. Got quite a few of. The guys here, the these shark decons do look really nice with this set because of the scale. It's got the little crown on Grimlock over there, the non F crown. Oh, nice. See, the, this is a really good start, Dalton. Yeah. Nice looking figures, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Tara says hopefully no Beast Wars. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen, but yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Scorponok again. He's probably one of. He's got to be one of the best ones, man. Yeah, yeah he's, he's good. good. And I mean that's not a slide at the other one because I mean like you know, Mega Trip, you know, yeah, they're all good. But like Metroplex, you know, he's blocky. He has what he is. Fort Max, yep. he's blocky. He has what he is. Scorponox, you know, with the, you know, the claw hands and just like all the little extra stuff. Like you can see, like there's a scorpion somewhere in there. Yeah. Uh, obviously with Trypticon, that one's pretty easy. You know, Omega turned out well. Yeah. yeah. But all the modes. Petty King's wings just need to be bigger, though. <clears throat> and they need to redo uh, Lyle Kaiser. They need to redo Construct uh, Devastator. That looks good. Hey, they should redo I'm it. O- I'm okay on them for now. I, I didn't get the Devastator. If I wanted one, it would be the Dakara one because they had that little bit of extra yeah. articulation yep. and the weapons. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got both versions. I keep one in vehicle mode. But I'm all right with him. Plus, if you want third party, there's 80. So. <laughs> yeah, pick one. Yeah. Uh, here, here we got some Bicon stuff. And club. That's my one yeah. regret. Never going to BotCon. That was a good set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, they, they have come out with uh, some some weird ones out there. I forget what this is, guy's name. It starts with a J or something, right? Jaxus or Jaxus? Yeah. 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 Like, Hellman is this one the cell what's this perp it came in like a five pack i think i can't see it my old eyes yeah that purple with that yellow it was from that blur mold oh i don't remember the name of that oh yeah from the um more than meets the eye books i just packed all my more than meets the eye stuff up except for just a few so i could make room nautica okay nautica okay Yeah. yeah See, those are ones oh, that are yeah. like a little out there. Like me being G1, I'm like, I don't even know who these characters are. So. Yeah, a lot of comic books, some comic book stuff. That's that third party one, though. Mm-hmm. Little. Beast Wars shelf. Yeah. 
I'm not a Beast Wars fan, but I always thought this uh, Bat Optimus was pretty cool. Yeah. And they've they've came out with this guy with different repaints quite a few times. But man, that, yeah, a lot of yeah. them. I finally stopped getting them recently. How, how many are there? A, a lot. I, I, I haven't gotten <laughs> any. In the last three or four years, I didn't get any of the ones they, they did. But before that, I know I have four of them. Maybe. Yeah, I think I have four of them. I bet Dakota has all of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not enough shelf space in the world for all this stuff. <laughs> this, the little pretender shells, those were two probably the coolest yeah, things. Yeah, you know. they really were. I love the those guys. Oh, uh, there we go. I never got this one. I like those. Which one? The uh, Armada the, redos. Oh, yeah. The purple one. Uh, I have the white star screen. Mm -hmm. And I have this one. And then I have like a white one. Or I, or maybe it's... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I have three of them, but There's I don't a, have this purple one. Yeah, I still have all those up. I like those figures, too. Yeah, there's that redo from that mind wipe. That's pretty good. Ramjet. Yeah, I don't think I got him. Wow. Sky warp and Ramjet. Dalton, did you just dust dust these shelves and make sure all the fallen guys are back up? <laughs> he must he must have. I'm like, if you go look at mine right now, there's dust and like you know, mine are just are falling. falling over. Yeah, I've had yeah. a couple figures just fall over since uh, we started the show. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now now he's just flexing. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, he said he did. He did dust. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Good job. He either that or he just keeps his collection. <laughs> it's just dust every day. It just spends like three or four hours dusting <laughs> every day. Oh, all them waspinators. You can need to replace them now. <laughs> Waspinator. Oh, I've got some, got some Star Wars, nice. Marvel Legends, yeah. and some Halo. Very cool. Nice, man. Yeah. It's got some G.I. Joe, yeah, some Thundercats. Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. All right. Appreciate you sitting in, Dalton. Nice very, collection, as very always. Cool. Yeah, very nice. All right, so uh, this would be something that I, you know, I would like to, uh, to discuss. Hasbro, we've just, you know, starting off here. We're looking at the first tab, and I wanted to kind of start off with this. There are fans that are like, I like Beast Wars, G One, Armada. I like new stuff, you know, whatever. You know, it's Transformers. They collect it all. Then you have people that are like Dakota and I where it's like Dakota, he wants that uh, that eagle or whatever that, that character is. I only care about the side swipe, you know, but they're, it's a two-pack, you know, and, and the, it, it would be different if they were like, here's side swipe and Mirage, and then here's the two Beast Wars and a two-pack. You're like, I think you would, they would sell more like that, but instead it's Dakota, let's get this, let's split it. You know, because we, I happen to have someone that I know that, you know, we can split. Uh, 
I mean, what do you think about that way as far as marketing? Do you think that they would be able to sell more if they were just like, here's Mirage and Sideswipe. We know these two are G1. We know that someone buys that, you know, they're, they're going to enjoy both figures. And same vice versa for the Beast Wars. For, I mean, my opinion is, well, there's a few things. So as far as Kingdom goes, they haven't really shown a trailer for Kingdom. So I don't know. Is G1 and Beast Wars, are they fighting? Is this a battle in a box or are they teaming up? There's no fiction. There's no trailer to support it, yet here it is. So uh, you can't really make any decisions based on that because you don't know maybe who the Eagle is. You know, I, I guess it's Skywarp. Or, it is Skywarp, I've got, yeah. I've got some original. I've got a lot of the Beast Wars stuff. Um, for me, um, the, the part of me that likes Beast Wars, and I think for people that are like, hardcore only beast wars i would say that they would rather have a two-pack of beast wars characters why wouldn't you want two beast wars characters in that package that's a spot in you know they're looking at how many spots you they put out and if you're looking at how many spots this halfway earth mode 10th version of sides swipe is taking up one of the spots it's taking up one of the placements so if I'm a Beast Wars fan, I don't I don't like this. Yeah. Uh, in my end, I collect Beast Wars and G1. So for me, I think it's odd. Um, I would rather have a really good Earth mode of Sideswipe than the retooled version that I'm looking at. I would much rather have like a Sideswipe in Earth mode that's like oh, amazing. Old. Yeah. Yeah. And and just put him out by himself, or like Josh said, put him in a pack with an Earth Mode Mirage that's also amazing, where you don't have to buy another Mirage. Look, that Studio Series Hot Rod, everybody that picks it up says, this is what I've always wanted. It's the perfect example, if you're making examples of how to do um, mm -hmm. a Transformer, a mainline Transformer. Um, so this one doesn't, for me, it's odd. It doesn't check any of the boxes because it's odd. Um, again, you're getting a halfway side swipe and you're having people like Josh and Dakota who they might buy the two pack and then one of them takes one and one takes the other, you know? <laughs> so yeah, but mo a lot of people aren't going to be in that situation, you know, to where like me and Dakota, we are like complete opposite, you know, sides of the coin here to where this is easy for us to, you know, say we want to split, you know, there, you know, vice versa. Like you're not going to hear, he's not going to hear from me. Like, man, I really wanted that, uh, sky warp bird, you know, as well. It, it's, it's a weird, it's also a weird placement too. Cause, um, there I'm assuming there's no combiner parts or anything that they've added to, so that she can combine with the rest of the folks. Um, to make Magna Boss. I'm pretty sure that was part of Magna Boss, the ones I yeah. have upstairs. Mm -hmm. So that's also odd. So for me, what you're getting is a less than stellar version of both characters, and they threw them in a box together. That's that's my take. Yeah, well, see, Action Figure Expert says that that's the whole idea is uh, you're forced to buy the two packs, but I could argue that there's people out there that are just going to pass completely and be like, well, I got whatever. The other side swipe or i've got a, a different side swipe you know this this is you know like the first side swipe that we're getting in years you know like they just had one last year you know and sold you multiple different you know redecos you know a deep cover and red alert i believe is going to be a Wal walgreens exclusive which mm -hmm. those are really hit or miss i never see dude they got marvel legends figures and my walgreens for full price has been in there for 40 years yeah i see yeah so that medusa do you remember that medusa yeah. Dude, yeah. they still got like five of them in my walgreens they're still mm. asking for like 20 bucks for them so yeah. my walgreens yeah. still has finn from force awakens do that math <laughs> still have their daredevil that's, cra yeah. that's crazy they've completed that trilogy <laughs> <laughs> yep all right dalton says uh no we're not getting the magnum boss it's just a nod but I think there's going to be people that will just pass on it completely, you know? And yeah, there's probably some people that will just buy the thing and then they'll be like, well, let me try to sell the other one. But I mean, that, that whole thing's a hassle anyway, you know, when you're just dealing with people that you don't know. 
Um, it's always more exciting too when you feel like both figures are stellar and you feel really good about making the purchase. And that's not what's, for me, that's not what's happening here. You don't really, uh, neither one really are, are great versions of the character that you want. But the only way I can go into it, and Beast War Finch, you're not going to like this, but they need the G1 in there to help sell the, the Beast War figure. Because if they I, came out with the two uh, Mirage and Sideswipe two-pack, that is going to sell, and it's going to sell really well if they had those two beast war figures in a two-pack yeah that's not going to sell as well and yeah, beast war I, fans i know dakota's be like well whatever you know and he, he'll give yeah. me all these arguments i'm like dude i know you love it but i'm telling yeah, you that's, that's, that's why you get g1 every single year is they're coming out with new versions of g1 that's because hasbro. that's what sells yeah and hasbro it, doesn't have hasbro doesn't have the trust in beast wars to be able to put a beast wars two-pack out not yet they may they may in the future, but right now you can, I mean, you're absolutely right. Uh, also, Sideswipe, uh, well, you got a black quarter panel and no spoiler. Again, yeah. You're kind of reminds lazy. me. I've, I've seen on paint, like, people are, you know, I know someone will say, like, this is part of whatever, this place that had to be black on the robot. Yeah, but I've seen them paint over mm -hmm. stuff. We've seen them paint over stuff before. Yeah, plus we bought eight versions of him already. Certainly they can afford to give us a new mold if I've bought eight versions of this character, right? Yeah. I mean... It kind of reminds me of uh, Marvel Legends where the Builder figure, they throw in one character that is not quite very popular, but you still have to get it because you want that part. Yeah, they always so, do that. Yeah, yeah. so they're, they're kind of doing it with this, but... Uh, yeah. Sunstreaker didn't have a spoiler either. Yeah, that's a mistake as well. Yeah. It's a Lamborghini... You know, back then, all the Lamborghinis, spoilers. You know, yeah. like, I know now that, you know, a lot of them don't, but... Uh, here's something else, Beast Wars. You know, like, sure, popular character, release it on its own, even though I thought the release you had a few years ago, mm -hmm. not even being a Beast Wars fan, I thought that was quite good. Yeah. So this one looks uh the other one looked I think better than what this one does. Um am, am I wrong in saying that? This one looks more kiddish. This is the first time I'm I've seen it. Dalton mentioned it to me earlier, but I hadn't seen it. I like those those legs, they, they don't look as good as the other one, other Waspinator. The wings are more accurate to the toy. Dot says he's on the fence. Uh, Cameron Wallspender is one of the Beast War characters I would generally buy. Probably not this one, though. Really? Yeah. Like, Here, here's again, the comparison. The other one looks more realistic to where this one looks... Th this one looks like it's a Cyberverse figure. Again. Yeah, and they, they have... Again, they have not shown the fiction yet. If they showed a trailer for Kingdom and Wallspender was in it, you could easily say, okay, well, this is based on Kingdom. Here we are speculating yeah. this is what they do hasbro does it to themselves like we have to speculate sometimes a lot more than other brands but so here we are again we're speculating this uh like like because you I, i'm just looking at the legs this just looks more detailed i'm looking at the eyes and i'm like that looks better this i see you try to do the same thing but like that looks a lot cleaner and this just bright yellow circle like this, comic, this, comic book ish yeah this is just more a little more stylized i think it you know looks good and then the legs you look at them look nice these these look like uh do you remember that game for the 80s called cooties where you had a uh, the body and then the head and then those weird little legs you had oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what, yeah. These, these look like that those cootie legs now our, our younger followers they're probably going to be like uh, There's a game called Cooties. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I forget who made it, but yeah, look it up. Yeah, action figure expert. Uh, Thrilling Thirty One looks better. Oh, light piping. Okay. I'm okay with it. The robot shins look bad on the new one. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> it looks like it's like his. That looks like it's the back of his knee. But I guess that's the way, you know, the way he would be for, for you know, transformed into his insect mode. Yeah. I wouldn't want this one. I hate wasp. Dude, I carry a yeah. can of wasp spray around with me. 
Yeah. All over. What's the, uh, do they have the wasp mode? There, there is an image somewhere. There you go. There it yeah. is. Doesn't look too bad. And do they have yeah. it? Uh... Yeah, I still think the Thrilling 31 looks cleaner. I'm, I'm just pointing out that, hey, this was a Beast War slot. Mm -hmm. Did you really need another Waspinator, or would you rather been like, hey, the Waspinator we had was good already, and you could have gave us somebody else? Like Terrorsaur? <laughs> like, e even the way this is all plugged up here, this looks. And you can see yeah, it like, hides, uh, hides yeah. a little better. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I mean, I guess I like the other arachnid better as well, or at least in the uh, a black arachnid. The, yeah, it, uh, the spider one was that thrilling thirty as well. Yeah, I liked her better than this one. So you, you don't say I would rather a new uh, Particle on Inferno or Tarantulas instead of this particular Waspinator yep. in that slot. Yeah. I, that's, that's, yep. that's what I'm seeing, you know, so. Just wanted yeah, to see can... if it was different for uh, people that, you know, collected Beast War stuff, you know. Tarantulas would have been great. Yeah. Uh, just a little teaser, Road to Age, which, I mean, we probably all saw that coming. Yeah. So. New face. That's cool. Yeah, that's all. Not, not much to see there. Uh, the premium finish of these guys, they've come out with several repaints of this Megatron, too. They really like this thing. They love a little, that. A little too much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the battle damage on it. Oh, uh, really wanted to show off the Megatron. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of battle damage on any of these figures. I just don't think they do it that well. Yeah, it doesn't look good to me. Yeah, Cameron says, doesn't really look premium, you know, in quotes to him. The price is premium, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, cause like all this little stuff right, like that, that that just looks cheesy to me. Yeah, it probably would have been better if it was just premium and clean. That would be nice. That pretty silver finish that was on the Netflix one earlier. That yeah, just cool. Yeah, just paint them silver. That's yeah. that's the premium. And if somebody wants to go over it with a dry brush and do it, yeah, you know, do it yeah. themselves, then. Have yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the trick is you pick the the figure like the highlighted figure that you know the fans loved, and you do a, a nice clean premium paint job on it. You don't have to do all of them, or yeah. every Bumblebee or whatever. You just do like one or two here and there that you know are popular. So Dalton coming in with the scoop. Apparently, Road Rage is a Target exclusive because you know red. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, I, I mean that. I think everybody could see that. I mean, you start just thinking about, like, uh, what characters do I like that have red in them? Yeah. You know? uh, red, apparently, red Hood. Deadpool. Uh, this, guy, this guy sold out pretty quick, I saw. Yep. I managed to snag one. I'm not getting in on any of those. I think my days are over unless there's something that's just stellar. Once you get into this particular line, you got to go deep because – you're going to pick and choose? Probably not. Uh, you're going to get Mind Wipe. You're going to get Weird Wolf. I actually feel pretty... I was getting a lot of that third-party stuff, but now I feel really good because I thought that the car versions of all that stuff that we got a few years ago, yeah. they're really good, man. Like yeah. Slug Slinger and Weird Wolf and uh, Misfire. And, man, they're really good. I scratch, I scratch my itch. I mean, he looks nice, but they, the prices, you know, they... 
they've gone up too. Yeah, you know, exactly. The sky was, but now eventually you just run out of shelf space. <laughs> yeah, he's like twice as much as the earlier releases, if not more. Do you know uh, one that? Did they ever finish the uh, was it fans project that was doing the headmasters and stuff? Did they ever fin even complete that thing? It was make toys. Yeah, it's it's been a long time, but I think I had maybe five. Was it make them. toys? Make toys? Okay. Make yeah, toys didn't finish it. Yeah. Okay. They didn't. <laughs> no, they did two. <laughs> only two of them. A hard head and chrome dome. That's it. Oh, you're talking about the big ones, like the yeah. big. No, uh, oh no, I'm talking about I'm talking about fans project. Then. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. The smaller um, ones. Yeah, I had a, I had, I a, had maybe uh, five like, of them. I had a couple of them, and then it was just like, you know, after like three years after the you know chrome dome, came, yeah. you're like, you're like, are you guys like gonna finish this? Because like. Yeah, the first one started off at you know wasn't badly priced, wasn't like sixty or seventy dollars. Yeah, they were they like were that. fairly priced. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then it got to where like hey, by the third or fourth figures, like yeah, we're in the hundred dollar. And you're like, by the time y'all finish this, man, these are gonna be like two hundred something dollar figures. Like, yeah, this is taking way too long. <laughs> yeah, it was, cool. yeah. it was cool at the moment. You remember, it was it was all right for a while, but then you started getting the mainline ones, and they were pretty good. So. Yeah, except for Chrome Dome had the wagon wheels, and that's I'm still <laughs> upset about that. Poor Chrome still Dome. upset. Uh, they still have Hardhead, Snapdragon, and Ape Face left to do. I remember they showed off uh, Snapdragon and Ape Face at uh, one of the TFCon things, and then the next year they showed it off again, and then the yeah. year after that they showed it off again. You're like, I'm not seeing any figure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing's supposed to have a crazy transformation. It's not what you think. The back of the truck actually ends up over his head. That's some. I like that paint. That's some. Yeah. That's some pretty paint. Colors are great. Yeah. My arm. <clears throat> Some people complain where the the, sh the shoulders are attached, kind of like mid torso almost. Uh, I mm -hmm. see. Yeah, I, I didn't even pay attention to that until you pointed it out, and I'm like, yeah. okay, I can I can see how some people would get irritated. Like if there was some mechanism for it to slide up. They're a little too slavish to the cartoon, but it still looks okay. And we have fans hobby. Uh, targets. I saw someone was like, "What?" On Facebook, they're like, "What the heck is this?" And the camera had to step in and be like, "Yo, fire gets." <laughs> wow, that's how he's doing that, huh? Wow. I mean, what's the last fire guts that came out? Uh, I mean, was that the the bot con, uh bot con? I think so. Like I, I don't remember uh, Hasbro, Takara, or even a third party doing a fire gut since the Botcon one. What was that Pasadena? I believe. Yeah. I may be wrong. Uh, Cameron, he might come on here and be like, "There's actually been like three or something." And I'm I'm just forgetting them. But wasn't there a fire guts classics Optimus Prime? I yeah, that's the one. That yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do they not have them combined? Okay, I guess not. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Uh, unique toys. Uh, this is still uh, to shot, I believe. I thought not they. Bad. Were, I thought they were done. <laughs> Looks good though. I hated that movie, though. Accurate to the movie. That's what I'll say. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So the so there's just three fire gets out there, huh? That 
O2 original and then that classics uh, repaint from BotCon. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, this was reportedly Unique Toys' last figure, and they announced they were closing. Oh, okay. They said they would finish this Galvatron, and then they were done. Oh, wow. I didn't know they were closing. Uh, Dr. Wu, little, little bitty dudes. <laughs> Remember uh, a few years ago, Twirls, everybody was wanting to come. Even all these new third-party companies, every year we'd see new ones come out, right? And they're all doing, like, masterpiece scale. And it was... It was hit or miss if because you're already were competing with like make toys and with some of their stuff and fans project was you know pretty heavy on the scene and uh yet you know tfc was uh pretty big back then too um you know with that masterpiece scale and it was really hard for all these new little companies to where like all right we're putting out our first figure and hopefully it is successful because if it bombs, then like we've tied up all our money and you know to make this thing right. And they had to clearance it, and then people wouldn't want their stuff anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So they had to make a name for themselves. It seems now the new thing is come out with little legend stuff that cost as much to make, and you know if something bombs, then hey, you still can you know you you weren't like invested like you know a lot of money into one figure like you were back with the. The masterpiece scale. I mean, have you guys kind of noticed that as well? I mean, Doctor Wu was yeah. one of the earlier ones. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, you've got you know we're going to look at some other ones as well. But uh, I, I see a lot of different brands. It, like it looks like that has shifted to where masterpiece a lot less uh, different brands, and then like the little legend scale has gone up. Yep. And you look at the cost of plastic and the, all the manufacturing changes that have happened, and it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Also, the cost of living keeps going up in people's wages. So if you look at it, I mean, as a business model, to me, it makes more sense that that has happened. And then you also, I mean, another thing you could add is that Hasbro's kind of pumped out more of these uh, city, city bots mm -hmm. where, like, there's, yeah. there's a lot more play play into it yep. now too uh -huh. so yeah like more dr Wu, you know just a couple of images just says the uh i guess the galvatron bag of knives man that's that's all bay former figures <laughs> yep and then magic square yeah little guy And it looked, like with this, we just saw an Optimus of Dr. Wu. Mm -hmm. This is a different, uh, what would you call it? Obviously, like you, you look at this and you can be like, okay, there's obviously a lot more going on with this than there was that little Dr. Wu one. Yeah. A lot of people are excited about this one. Cameron says, I prefer the original Magic Square Optimus. Z Hero, is that how you say that? Welcome to the chat. I think the only Magic Square I have is the big, the bigger Optimus. Only one I've messed with. I wonder, is the sport, have you messed with the small one and the big one? Do you know if the how different the transformations are? Uh, there's they're very similar very very close okay i was curious very close I but new age toys these look good every time we take a look at these i my ears my eyes perk up you know a little bit uh, because it looks so much like the original uh it's a cross between the original toy but then the cartoon and the mm -hmm. the turnaround the animation turnarounds and it just it, it kind of is hitting on a nice place like I'm not getting them because I've kind of gotten out of that stuff, but I do think that they're awesome looking. The Constructicons. One little thing, and I know it's like the smallest 
minor thing, but something that makes it them stand out so much is these rims where they look like you know they're metal, you know, yeah. like 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 real rims that you'd see out there, not just painted or just left black or anything like that. Right. Like they've kind of like kind of got a little gunmetal look to them, yeah. uh, which makes them look that much better in my opinion. And they've done a good job with the paint so that you know you don't even though the stickers aren't there they really look like the stickers you remember putting on some of them so i think they did a good job with these if this was a box set like if we were looking at the box set and you told me all right this is going to cost so and such i might consider it just to play with them uh camera says the new age constructicons are expensive and they are selling the combiner parts separately Yes, no. uh, they're what? sold in two packs. Packs of two, two for about a hundred dollars per pack, and then the the skeletal, which is basically the torso and the thighs and the skinny arms that they attach to, are like a hundred and seventy. Yeah, that is way too. Complicated, it is a really expensive man. set. I'm hoping that uh, Magic Square does a better job of it than these guys in terms of price. Well, how how much? Ever that's not even with the the figures. Or is that with the figures? The the figures are sold in packs of two for hundred dollars a piece. So you're looking at six. That's, or, that's looking at three hundred dollars right there. Plus right. you have to buy the the frame, which is uh, the uh, Devastator's torso, his upper torso, head, and the attachments for where the where they would go for the arms and legs. That's about I think one hundred seventy, if I remember right. So this is about a cheap set. Remember when, uh, what was it, Make Toys that came out with the pretty good smaller size, you know, Constructicons as a box set? I feel like it was giant, wasn't it? It's been Make a year. Toys what, giant, yeah. Feels like it was 20 years ago for whatever reason, but mm -hmm. I I still have that one, but I remember buying it and I want I wanted a box set. And that's how I like my Constructicons. Well, there's, and a generation, box set. there's Generation Toy. They make a box set. But I'm. I'm not in the market for one, but if I was, box set. It's yeah. too complicated. Make it easy for me. Well, that's how they make their money. <laughs> I hope yeah. Magic Square does a better job of it in terms of uh, the cost and the way they package everything. And I hope there's no uh, body skeleton to put them together. That's that's too much cheating. Yeah. Talking about $400 yeah little, little combiner man that's too much they look nice and all but yeah he's going to be about the size of mp10 put together kim says uh i like the look of the magic square constructs the cons uh better anyways be honest, yeah accurate but i feel like they look better they do look better His legs are a little thin there. Hmm. That's from the movie right there. Remember he kicked the Dinobot? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Shades and no shades. Yeah. That is a lot of cheating. Yeah, like see what I'm saying? mostly cheating. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. It's just it's that's, a little excessive. Which 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 uh, combiner is that? The third party where it's like the masterpiece scale, where the motor master basically turns into Ma Minasaur, and you just attach the cars. Which Both one is them. that? Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, okay. uh, Xtrans bots and DX9 do the same thing. The trailer becomes the the whole body. At I like that. that. That's actually pretty good. Yep. That's yeah. from uh, one of the worst episodes. <laughs> yeah. uh, Carnage, it is the worst episode in G1. Yeah. Carnage in C minor. They messed up the scale royally. Did you see... Uh, God, who who is it? I, 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 there are so many animation errors in that episode. 
Yeah. I forget really who, well. like, you, you have Superion f- fighting next to the aerial bots one time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already looked at this. this so. Yeah. Anyways, uh, this, this is surprising as well. Uh, DNA designs the upgrade kit for the Grimlock. That way you can do the wheelie, but I'm like, or you, you could just buy a wheelie on its own that transforms and stuff. Yeah. Just give me the sword. I mean, I guess they made this transform, but I mean, is that what you want? They came out how, many, with how many people actually like wheelie? I think I have a. <laughs> is it uh, Takar came out with a wheelie? Yeah, got it. It came with a. I forget which. Uh, it came with like a little head head as well. I forget what the head was. The ghost shooter, maybe. But I mean, come on, man. That that looks ugly. And what are they filling in here for? Okay, so the inside of the arms. Bottom of the foot. You're not even going to see that. Yeah. Come on now. Okay, yeah. Wheelie came with the ghost shooter. And I, I guess the sword. I mean, the sword. The sword's cool and all. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what he comes with. Does he come with a gun? I can't see him. No. But the sword should be red. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's already that already did that. Yeah, yeah, the non F one's already out. You can order it for like next to nothing. I'll just go with that. <clears throat> okay, so they made the neck the clear, like on the the G one toy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they made the little fire shooter, I guess. And the little inside, okay. Articulated fingers. I don't need that. I don't know. I I, I kind of think this is a little bit of a waste of money. To be honest, somebody will buy it though. Yeah. Uh, getting into Joe News, I actually saw these in Walmart today. In both my WalMarts, and in both of them, the cardboard was bent yeah. on every single figure, and the bubble was crushed. Of course. Yeah. I still need it. I bought the I bought cr- a crushed version of Stalker and um, two Cobra Troopers, but I still need wow. a mint version of both of them because <laughs> they were all knocked up. Like I bought them with intentions of just opening them. I didn't like the fact that the Cobra Trooper came with that all green bazooka. Yeah, I think that's a. I saw something about that where there's like a picture. In a JC Penny catalog, and it's like some kind of weird nod to that. I like, hate right. it. I, I, I don't like that. I'm just go give him a bike gun. Come on now. Yeah. That's too much of a. I'm pretty deep GI Joe, and I didn't know that. So I'm wondering how many people know that. So anyway. It looks like it's a weapon that came with like a different like toy line or something. I like the yeah. cats here too that are just like, you know, this cat is just getting his head scratched by these unicorn claws. <laughs> right. I know He's my cat be, would. Oh yeah, mine would be chewing on the the all of it. I can't. No, can't. That the cat can't go anywhere near it. And got another roadblock. Uh, I wanted this one. Me too. It was sold out. Amazon yeah. exclusive, I believe. Yeah. Was it? Yes, yeah. I think so. Uh, I wonder if they'll restock that, but I hope so because that's the roadblock yeah. I wanted to begin with. I feel like they probably will. I hope so. I ordered one, I think. Yeah, I mean, a, an actual Gatling gun for once instead of a space gun. Yeah, that water gun looking thing he's got. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this this is this is the one you want. Yeah. It's like I just, the removable helmet. Yeah. I've I've got to where man, I, I don't I don't feel like jumping through hoops anymore. So like I put it out there, I need that OB one or whatever, you know, I'll 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 need this. I need three vipers, but man, I ain't 
going and standing in line and you know refreshing and doing all this stuff anymore. I'm like a lot of that's a lot of work. I'm like make it available for me if it's there. I want it. I'll buy it. If I miss out on it, then I just miss out on it. I guess then hopefully they reissue. So uh, easy pre order. Yeah, this yep. was easy. I was happy. BBTS. I did. I and here's the thing: is while they're announcing all this stuff and going throwing up pre orders during the week. I'm asleep because I work at yeah. night. So I don't wake up until seven and then I get to work at like eight something. And then I pull up my computer. I'm like, well, all right, what did I miss over the past eight hours or whatever, <laughs> you know? And that's where like all this stuff is sold out. But then I, it's something that's can be released PBTS or entertainment earth, wherever. And it's like, there it is. And, you know, pre-order yeah. and done, you know? It should be easy like that. It shouldn't be, well, you got to make sure, you know, if you're at work, like Rick, you work during the day, and it's like, yeah. you got to drop everything you're doing to, you know, do these toys. Like, you told your boss that, that, hey, and this is something <laughs> that you had to do every single week. It's all the time. Yeah, it's every, sometimes yeah. it's twice a week. Sometimes yeah. twice a week. Yeah, they're, they've gotten crazy with their drops and stuff now. Yeah, and also this combo doesn't even make sense to begin with, because that's version one with Timber. It's okay, I'll take it. He's articulated. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, well, the Timber's gonna go with your version two that you've already got, right? Like that should have been the two pack. It's a car. And... It's a cartoon thing, though. Remember when he had to stay in there and get the radioactive crystals, and then on and all the Joes left. And then he left, and after he left, he met Timber for the first time. That's what this yeah. is. That's what this is talking about. Okay. It's that first appearance of Timber. Well, I wanted him anyway, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I was just like, it, it would have looked perfect, you know, if that that would have came out uh, with the version two. Looks nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they went above and beyond on timber and i think yeah. that's that's awesome it josh, que- here's here's josh the question he knows he missed the uh side swipe because he was in a meeting you know <laughs> it said, yeah it was in a meeting you're you're at work uh me i'm sleeping because <laughs> i have to sleep during the day because i work overnight you know it's like they they it's i don't know it's always a weird day too. Like, why why not do it like Saturday at noon or something, or you know, at different times during the day? That way, hey, if you weren't available during this time, hey, all throughout the day. That's how I got the my PS Five. Is GameStop was just like all day today, you know, at just random times. We're gonna throw it up, you know. And I was like, all right, well, I definitely need one of these, you know. Here's a question. So this is our first look at a GI Joe animal companion and yeah, it's timber. It's probably the most popular, but will they give the other animal companions the same amount of articulation, more than one head sculpt? What do you know. think? Because uh, there's a lot of them. I don't, th- I don't think uh, Croc, Croc Master uh, alligator or Crocodile uh, needs two heads. Maybe just uh, will, able to open will his mouth. Jaw open? Yes, jaw yeah. all, opening jaw. Um, open mouth. Not, he doesn't need a whole lot of articulation in his arms. You know, I'm not saying maybe yeah, just tail, a little bit, but just just a little bit, and where the tail think, maybe has like a couple bends. Now but, think about freedom, though. Now are we getting closed winged where he can perch on his wrist, and we're getting a spread wing? I think that if they set the precedent with timber and everybody likes it i know i would i would take a deluxe pack of spirit and freedom if he came with all the stuff like a flight stand form with his wings out but you've got another version where he can be kind of perched i hope they take that route that's what that's the route that i want i demand a fully articulated poly 
Yeah. <laughs> same with same with Pollard. Same with Pollard. Junkyard in mm-hmm. my yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you kind of well, want yeah. Timber to be the yeah. beginning of the. I would yeah. I like the animal companion. One thing I always liked yeah. about GI Joe was the animal companions. Mm-hmm. So. And here we go, Cobra Island exclusive. Uh, is it is it is uh, it version twenty or something like that? That it's like, hey, we could throw it out there exclusive. No, it's it's a main figure that people are going to want. Yeah, yep. And the the right way to have done this would have been barbecue main line, right? And then if they're gonna do an exclusive, they could do this uh, the Marauders Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders version, where he's colored differently. You know, um, any I mean, really, night you force, can even night force and stuff like that. Yeah, that you could the, do uh, target. They should be the exclusives. Stuff. Yes, that's how you do the exclusives. I mean, I would. I wish they had given both head sculpts to. Uh, I'd like to see an unmasked version, but I'm okay without it. But if they wanted to make that one an exclusive, I could see that being an exclusive because this is kind of the way most people remember barbecue. That's the way the action figure looked. Maybe not the cart. You saw him without the helmet in the cartoon or the comics. Right. But so there are other ways to do it. This should not be. <laughs> it's just like Firefly. Yeah. Fire, Firefly shouldn't have been there. Major Blood shouldn't have been there. Although they're doing a better job with him. Baroness. Yeah. Baroness. Yeah. Oh, what the yeah. Is that? Amber Alert. Uh, all right. Somebody got kidnapped. So, uh, uh, Cam- Cameron said Hasbro and the right way are mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, um, isn't Doctor Mindbender exclusive also? The it's a rumor. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, barbecue looks good though. I mean, regardless of the exclusivity. Yeah, I, I wasn't really interested in him but after seeing him more and more he looks really nice yeah all right now this one yeah this one i mean this was every from what i understand what i've seen people talking about everybody wants this one and he's he's one of the original 13. this was what i took home from the store the day gi joe hit the shelf i took ram cycle breaker and snake eyes that's what i took home day one gi joe 1982, 83, somewhere in there. Remember going to the store, getting those. Uh, where's the just the pictures? Yeah. So this is the first real vehicle, you know, that we're. Yeah, that not, we're getting. Not, not that weird Baroness bike. <laughs> Dude, I, I put that sucker in a. A box, man, because I'm like yeah. I'm not displaying it. It, it. There's hardly any room for it, and it looks ridiculous anyway. Yeah. So. It makes me hopeful that we'll get you know for the well, who who had those the dreadnoughts that ATV style thing. Remember the those? Ferret. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any problem with us getting the ferret. Yeah. That that the trouble bubble Serpentor's chariot. I feel like those. Yeah. I like I like for them to circle back and get Zartan's chameleon. Like I, you know, I understand there's people that are printing those at home. I get it. That's cool. Thank you. But I want an official one. Well, with Serpentor, he better come with his chariot. Yeah, that, that, that should be. Okay, that was it. That was it for us. Yeah, Breaker looks good. Uh, this is another one. So some Star Wars exclusives. Uh, this was a Target exclusive. Was I actually yep. able to buy this? Uh, yep. You know, like eight or nine p.m. It's pretty late. Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised. I was actually surprised. But I guess you know, I guess the the scalpers aren't really loading bots to buy Rogue One figures, you know. Now, if we all said Rogue One was popular and we all were like, hey, tonight at 12 p.m., you know, everybody uh-huh. tweet Rogue One, hashtag Rogue One, then the scalpers would be like all over it. But yeah. for th- this was pretty easy. Uh, this one, because I already have all these guys and I'm not, I'm not buying them again just for better face or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to, but. 
this one in particular looked probably the best out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I might pick and choose. I really couldn't see the difference in the Gen Erso, but I haven't picked up my Gen Erso in a while. And I've got, dude, I've probably got like, I don't know, six or seven Gen Erso, so. <laughs> yeah. It's cool they're finally doing Bodhi, though. Yeah. They needed that. Yeah. Pre-ordered He looks good. So he he looks really good. Yes. They've got the gimmick in his backpack, which they didn't have to do, and you can't even tell. But it's cool that they did the gimmick right from the movie. Yeah. He looks good. Thought about buying the K2SO. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with the the first order one. bird. Yeah, the first yeah. one. I thought it was solid. Yeah. So. It was just the eyes, I think. Like they the first one was based on early pictures, and then when the movie came out, they ended up changing his eye color. So now this face, that is a huge improvement. Oh yeah. He was a an Uggo <laughs> originally. Yeah. That may be one I'll, I'll look at. And you know there's I'm already telling you, you already know this is gonna happen. There's gonna be people buy this and then they're gonna put their old one in the box and then return it. <laughs> you you um, already know it's yeah. gonna happen. We already oh, yeah. see that stuff all the time. So, uh -huh. yeah, I've already I already got this one, and I don't think the first one's that bad either. Yeah, I remember he looked pretty good. Oh, uh, you don't have the first one. Uh, you just like the character? He's we're checking out then. Uh, this yeah. is another Target exclusive, which was able to pick up easy. Was some stuff's easy and some stuff just incredibly hard. <clears throat> and to me, this is the stuff anyway that should be. Exclusives. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Galen Urso, probably one of the most boring characters in the movie. And as far as <laughs> on your shelf, he's just a person. He's just a character that'll just kind of blend in with the background. He, you're you absolutely could, right. You could just make him some officer. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, the face looks better, but dude, I've got too many of her already. And they came out with several exclusives for her as well. Yeah, there's some different versions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I think I have like six or seven Jen Ursos already. Yeah, they could have made like her um, hood or scarf. Like that could have been soft goods this time or something different. Yeah, if they had that, done just yeah. that would have been better. One one little different thing would really make a big difference. Usually they, that's what they do, you know, to where yeah. they're like, Oh, got them. You know, Cameron, you have zero star Wars figures and you were going to start off on K2SO. Cause he's, cause he's robot. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cool robot though. I liked him in the movie. Yeah. And this, I have two of the four packs of these 501st troopers. Did I ever tell you how much they were going? I haven't looked in like a couple of I, years or a year. I do so. not. I don't have, I have some of the individual figures. I do not have the four pack though. I have two of the four packs and they were going for a little over $400 wow. Wow. a piece. So this uh, was, and I, awesome. I, I held on to them. So, so now, uh, like I, I get it then. Yeah, I just need. I'll probably get three of these. Plus, and I might put them. Get the yellow, the red, and then a uh, green as well. Yeah, I guess I better go ahead and get another one. So I'll have three, and whenever they come out with the other ones, I'll just get those two. 
Yeah, this one, I couldn't believe this is the first time. Yeah. And I would say what this one's, if it's not the most popular, he's up there. Yeah. First time in an individual carded release. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to me. That's nuts. Darth Vader, I remember when he was popular too. I, I had trouble finding yep. him for a while. I had to buy him at a convention. I skipped him, but I'm going to get this one. Already pre ordered. Yeah. I mean, this wave was basically like here's three new figures and the rest are reissues, you know? I like it though because it just it keeps it from being too expensive to get into the hobby or pick up stuff that you missed. Like, think about how we are with um, the Motu Classics. I'm still trying to fill gaps. And yeah, when I say it. fill gaps, if I buy like two classics a year, that's pretty good because most of them are over a hundred each. I mean, and I, I don't know if I'll ever finish. I only need a few, but yeah. some of them so are pushing two hundred. Yeah, yeah, some are three. Yeah, but like this line, this is a line like I like that they keep doing this. And some people will be like, I don't like it because it, you know, it messes with my money. My my whatever, dude. It's good for like people um getting into the getting into the line this is the third time they're reissuing or uh, the third time they're yeah. coming out with this layout you had the first one remember which yep. had a dog ugly face <laughs> oh, and yeah. then they came one. out with the face printing technology <laughs> first came out and then they came out with her again and I, so i have both versions and this now yep. they're coming out with her a third, third time. one yeah but i mean that first one well dude that that, that is the <laughs> ugliest action figure face you've ever seen in your life <laughs> yeah who, who approved that one yeah it'll do <laughs> she's a real princess <laughs> yeah. uh this this was a little disappointing because this goes back to what it's it two things that we've touched on here me at the beginning of I don't like these big packs or two packs even whenever you're mixing stuff because uh, I just want to get what I want to get. I don't want to have to worry about, okay, now I need to find buyers for this and that, you know. Uh, and then at the same time, what you brought up with the Star Wars, hey, it's cool that they're bringing some stuff back that were like favorites and a lot of yeah. people maybe didn't get. So like Omega Red here, you know, I love my Omega Red. I, I bought that, you know, entire wave or whatever. Uh, so – Great figure. I don't need a second one, though. I don't even know who this guy is. I don't need a 20th Wolverine. I don't care that he's got a shirt off. I've got plenty of Wolverines. <laughs> I just want him, and I want her. Yep. I don't want to have to spend $120 to get these other figures, you know, and then I got to piece yeah. them out and stuff like that. So, again, if it's going to be a pack, I would have rather them do – like, here's this guy, here's her, and then, like, here's three more new ones that are kind of, like, in this universe, mm -hmm. you know, with the X-Men stuff that we haven't got, so it's all brand new. And then yep. here's, like, another pack where it's Omega Red, or just like they're doing with the archive thing. Like, here's another Wolverine. Yep. I don't even know who this is. Who is this? I don't Cyber. Even know I don't, yeah, so. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like it either. And I really wanted a Callisto. And I'm a big fan of the comics growing up. And Callisto and the Morlocks were a huge part of 80s X-Men. First Callisto that they've ever done. And they put her in a Wolverine pack, which makes no sense to me. If she was in a pack with like Storm, the yeah. Marauders, any of yeah. the other Morlocks, like Mask. Mask was featured all the time. Yeah. And to be able to, it, 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 it's a figure that they probably should make, but to put her in a Wolverine pack makes no sense. All right. And then Mastermind or Jason Wingard, that character from Hellfire uh, in the comics helped push Jean Grey into becoming, you know, Dark Phoenix. Um, we just got that Hellfire Club set. The yeah. fact that you have to buy a five pack and he has nothing, let's be real, nothing to do with these other characters. It that, makes no sense. That's it what, just you, doesn't. You look at this, and if you know how people set up their dioramas, or some of people are like if they do at conventions, they would set up a diorama of like certain characters fighting each other, and you're like, oh, this all looks cool, and you can see how things are coming together. No one would set this particular fight scene up because 
other than Wolverine and Omega Red going out <laughs> at each other, it no, the rest of it doesn't, it doesn't make, make any sense. sense. Nope. And yeah, even if they reaching. did, uh, her with like you said, Storm, and then him with like another Jean Grey, you know, like a, yeah. another version or something, and and then another figure from the the Morlocks to kind of tie that in, like yeah. that would have been better. Yeah, just, they haven't they, done they haven't done Caliban in the regular form. They've only done him as a horseman to Apocalypse when he was like swole up. I mean, just a regular Caliban, like kind of skinny and pale, and they haven't done that. But they again, this has to do with trust. When we were talking about the Beast Wars, this is another situation. They felt like they had to put Wolverine giant across the bottom and put him shirtless at the top. <laughs> and then pack him out with the random <laughs> figures. Same thing. Yeah. Trust. O Omega Red, if you don't have him, that's a seller. You know, like you you want him if you don't have him. It's you know, figure. yeah, he's a great but, figure. But like th this is one of those, like, dude, if we put him out there with no main build a figure piece on like a hot build a figure, you know, character, like who's buying this guy? <laughs> right. It, it, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I mean, y'all made an archives for Black Series, and you know, yeah, I agree. You, you reissue some some other, then do Marvel Legends, and maybe I'll eventually see these guys, and I'll pick them up yeah. then. You know, that, that's the way I'm looking at it now, because it's like, man, I'm I'm tired of chunking like huge things of money at you. Uh, same thing with the builder figures. You know, like I'm kind of done yeah. buying your entire wave unless there's just like maybe one that I don't like. Because yeah, I did that figure. with uh, that strong guy, and then I just took yeah. like four figures down to like the local comic and action figure kind of place or whatever, and they gave me like two dollars for each figure. You know, yeah, Which, you get uh, hardly anything for it. it. I, I had spent like eighty dollars, you know, for them. Yeah. I just wanted to build a figure piece. They ended up giving me like ten dollars for all four figures. You know, like I lost seventy bucks there. Yeah. So. Uh, would you buy two masterminds for two head sculpts? Oh, um, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you what. If they change, yeah, no, no, I'm not going to buy it just for the head sculpt. But they could just do your original OG mastermind in the long trench coat. Very different look than Jason Wingard in the Hellfire Club. This is, yeah, but I, I love the like what you said. It's like real big, like Wolverine. Oh yeah, and this is they like put the him Wolverine, shirtless at the top. The, the Wolverine <laughs> pack, like all these characters, and you know, cycle around Wolverine. There ain't but one of them. <laughs> so, uh, this is a uh, entertainment exclusive. What is it? Entertainment Earth exclusive or? Or is this no, I think it was uh, – they gave exclusivity to a bunch of, like, um, influencers. Influencers. Oh, and, it's a Target um, exclusive. Okay. Yeah. I think Entertainment Weekly covers some of that stuff now, too. Okay. Well, if you're yeah. into the MCU Owen, stuff. Is it Owen Wilson? Is that his, yeah. the name? Yeah. Yeah, that's a – it's a pass, man. No, thank you. Yeah, I didn't need that. I can't do all that stuff. All right. Uh, well, in uh, Master Universe stuff, uh, get your little get your little guard here. Yeah, yeah, I pre ordered a few of them. You can make him yep. into uh, mustacheless men at arms, too. So. It's pretty cool. Incredible uh, that what is essentially a bureaucrat and exclusive figure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good army cool. builder. Yeah, I, he's a good army builder. I need I need at least two or three of these. And you know what? This kind of goes to well, all this exclusive stuff that you've already seen with Master Universe, um, and this Origins. This is what I felt that it was going to happen with all this exclusive and hard to find. And here's the stuff at the con selling out or uh, yeah. what is it? Power con. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I'm glad I didn't get into this line because yeah, this it's just another, another one, it's a hard line to get. Yeah. Like you, like 
out of the I gate, envy, it wasn't. I, I envy the people that are just like, like, like Dakota. He's like, I like the Beast Wars stuff. And <laughs> if they, if bot kind of comes back, you know, like, and then that's it. You know, I'm going to spend like $200 a year, you know, figures. And I'm like, yeah, Rick, you know, sport too. You know, we're just like, yeah, I'm well, all over the place. Yeah, man. And dude, we have to, you know, it's, it's hard. This oh, yeah. I never never saw a Target at uh, at Walmart. Never. I only saw one ever. Yeah. Uh, anyone getting into this Ghostbuster line? I mean, no. I have the original pla the original plasmas. But and this I'm, time, uh, they're giving them all streams repaints. The uh, yeah, like the ones the are, those are still fully stocked at my Target and Walmart right now. Yeah, same here. Are they, are they on clearance where I can get some more of the? Oh, I only have oh, two of the Winstons. I need four Winstons to get four of the blue, you know, streams. Dude, they're <laughs> they're still want twenty bucks a figure. Yeah. for all these, they're what fully you, stocked. What did you do with the other Winstons? <laughs> Just chuck them. Oh, the other Winston's. I gave the. Uh, well, I only have two. I gave one to my kid. He oh. just doesn't have the stream. And when I gave it to him, I'm like, here you go. You're not getting the stream. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> so Crazy. it worked out. I'm not even looking at those, but I'm surprised that they were like, let's come out and we'll just do. I mean, do you think this is a last stitch effort on? Let's see if this line will work or something. That way they didn't have to come up with new sculpts or something like that. No, I, I think it's I think it's they need filler because the movie doesn't release until November tenth. Yeah. And I think that I think they've got full trust, full I think the the studio um is a completely behind this movie. I think that they trust in this movie. I think that we're gonna see the kids. I, I think real, think, I, real ghost I think we'll see. would have been better. To do. Yeah, I yeah. think they're still they're still doing those. They're, no. they're just two lines. No, I mean six inch real Ghostbusters with better articulation. That'd be great. Oh, real Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah I, I'm saying that like the diamond like the diamond select ones. Yeah, you know, because those those go for <clears throat> quite a bit of money, but they're so breakable. Like, yeah. like a couple of things yeah. of mine have already like like little broke pieces or whatever. I had to glue back. Yeah. So it makes it hard to you know, anyone would want them or anything like that, but yeah, uh, I think Super we'll see 7, more Ghostbusters I for sure. So. Yeah. Super yeah, Seven Silverhawks. Did you guys jump in on this? I, this is another one that I was like, man, I'm just, I'm gonna pass. I wasn't big into Silverhawks anyway, and I'm gonna I'm probably gonna pre-order it. I haven't yet, but I'm probably going to. I pre-ordered just in case. It's not coming out until next year anyway. I can always cancel. Yeah. If I change my mind, this yeah, guy is, has them. This guy's gonna be eleven inches tall. Yep, he's huge. And it, it's weird that they started with the transformed version. Yeah, you know, instead of the because that's they went the opposite direction for Mumra. Yeah, but they probably they probably learned their lesson. I think people have been because we've been waiting so long for that Mumra. They were like, well, let's just give it, let's give them the transformed <laughs> version, the big version, right out of the gate. I um, Jeez. I yeah. I'm a, a person that I love Silverhawks, but I've never wanted to try to get the original figures because of the vac metal and the the fact that it's 2021. <laughs> and those They're, figures usually yeah. are in the worst condition. And even if you get them brand new and open them up, chances are just putting them on the shelf, you're going to get a flake of yeah. vac metal. Um, They're fragile too. The wings are yeah. fragile. Yeah. So this, this at least right now, it speaks to me. There's nobody else that, that has them. Yeah. I, I, I kind of hope that there's more of a – I know these are renders, and I know a lot of people are speculating. And I'm hoping that when these get closer to – you know, we've, we've got some production. We've, we're talking – he's out talking and making videos about it, hoping that there's more of a metallic finish on them. Yeah. I don't, I don't want them to be vac metal and I definitely mm -hmm. don't want them to be die cast, but I wouldn't mind a really nice metallic finish over, over top of it where you get a little bit of that speckle. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, when you buy like a nice sports car, you get that candy coated speckle. <laughs> oh, I want yeah. I want a little bit of that. You know what I ha- mean? Ha- Hasbro's talking about you're talking about our premium line. You know? <laughs> well that's that's what I'm afraid of with Super Seven is uh, you know, they've done color variants for the turtles. So they might do a, a variant, a run of these guys where they're more shiny. Well, the good thing is a lot of people are be- being very vocal. So yeah. there's a chance that that's going to speak loudly. It's not the first time that they, they've they made some changes. So hopefully if we're vocal enough and everybody kind of keeps saying, because I would like the on the at least the Silverhawks, I wouldn't mind. And who knows? These are renders. But like if we could – get that metallic finish. I think it would go a long way. Yeah. It would look good. Hey, if you want to talk about uh, some uh, different color variants and stuff like that, uh, they're about to come up. But uh, McFarlane, they're doing the 66 series, and these are actually going to be 6-inch, not 7-inch. So they're not going to be able to, you know, Scale yeah. up with the uh, stuff he's already selling you. <laughs> yeah, Holy this is its own world. Yeah. yeah, it's its own world though. This stuff, yeah. these don't go with any of the others. As long as Batgirl Yvonne Craig is not a Target exclusive, I will buy her for sure. I don't know about okay. all the others. Yeah, I was about to say I've been passing on them, but yo, know, I'm buying Batgirl Yvonne Craig, and I'm <laughs> buying my Julie Newmar Catwoman. <laughs> Dude, I'm buying yeah. those. For sure. Now there, yeah. there's a there's a two pack that makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah. The Joker looks pretty good back right there. So I want to see the yeah, heat stores. Also, I'm me, not seeing those stupid oh, looking ball them. joints uh, in the. You know, we can't see the ankles, but I don't see those stupid ball joints in the uh, wrist here. Yeah, they're probably not going to do those for those. I think the articulation is more limited. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I'm cool with that because that makes them look better because I hate those balls uh, on their wrist and ankles. It just it looks terrible. And I I don't want to buy 7-inch either. It'll be interesting to see how deep they go. Like, are they going to do the Riddler and, you know, Penguin? Do they have the rights to do get the likenesses of some of these, you know, it's so whenever they if they how deep are they want, wanting to go down that like you're not gonna do um God what what's his name the freaking egghead or whatever and keep yeah. that no they don't like, oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. I don't the, really the want that Price oh, played him yeah. yeah 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 that's right it's like you you don't really want those yeah but you could say the same kind of about all these two except for uh, Harley Quinn maybe King Shark here. I have to see. I want to see the movie. It's out in August. I'm assuming these will hit after the movie, probably. That'll probably determine how much I want them. I read the comic, but not all these guys are in the comic right now. Peacekeeper is, but King Shark has been before. Harley Quinn has been before, but oh yeah, have you you have you watched the HBO the Harley Quinn cartoon series that's on? HBO? Mm, no, that's the adult one. No, yeah, I yeah, dude, yeah, it's it's an adult. It's adult for sure. I remember you told oh, me yeah. it was pretty good though. Dude, it's hilarious. And <laughs> yeah, you can't watch it with your kids around. So, <laughs> dude, yeah, because they I mean they just they're just letting it fly, man. <laughs> they say some pretty disgusting stuff. <laughs> All right, talk about your variants. McFarlane's like, man. I, Rick, I heard you wanted variants. Well, <laughs> he, he's got you in the next like five or six tabs here. Jeez. Uh, is this the gold label stuff that he's doing? Like a Walmart thing, or is it just a variant? Probably just a variant. I think this is just another uh, version of Wonder Woman. Uh, it's like his designed Wonder Woman. He did yeah. his design of Batman, too. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I hate those wedges for the female figures <laughs> they're yeah. for marvel legends black series uh even the bareness uh on the new classifieds you know just hard getting them to stand man high heels and like just, yeah 
it sucks. Like they they have to come with a stand if you're going to do that, and which luckily this one does. But. Yeah. Hey, one thing about their stands that we found, like when we're setting up stuff here, me and my kid, those stands work perfectly for uh, GI Joes. I mean, no, the Black don't. Series, they are amazing. Yeah, and they're just it fits perfectly. They're not too tight, not too loose. Uh, I mean, I only have the Gorilla God, Grod, so uh, I'm using its stand, but I mean, it looks nice. Oh, uh, variant. Here we go. God, yes, I saw this was coming. Uh, the good thing is, I don't have to get any of the variants. Yeah. Sometimes they'll do like on um, the different heads. Like I got that Joker infected Nightwing. I got that one. I might get the Jason Todd if I can find it. I think that was a Walmart gold label thing. This looks good, but I don't need it. Like I have the original. You want you want to talk about parents? Yeah, I know. I know about this one. <laughs> uh, I like that he comes with the crowbar that Joker you know, beat him to death with. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of ironic. Spoilers. Spoilers. No. Yeah. Spoilers from, from the 80s. <laughs> you ruined it, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what was it like every time? Uh, God, what was it? I remember. It. Like, we would say something back from like G1 cartoon or something like that, or even Star Wars, like from the 70s. And they're like, oh, man, spoilers. I'm like, dude, you're watching this show. If you hadn't seen the original Star Wars or. <laughs> like bro like yeah. I, how, how'd you even find your way onto this <laughs> this video <laughs> so uh target exclusive here um i'm gonna get this one that was a good figure i have the original i like it the thing with these is at least you have a fighting chance to get them yes yeah they, they don't be selling out and yeah, and if, if they do, they get them back in. I've seen them get them yeah. back in. I've seen the first ones yeah. go, and like I see the scraps left behind. But usually, the second time, we'll go in and they'll have them. Yeah. So I like that. My 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 target people, they don't exactly know where to put these. They got them at three different locations. So what's been great is he's yeah. only been doing the uh, uh, mostly he's only doing the comic stuff, and nobody reads anymore. So I go in and I'm like, dude, they got the whole wave. I just bought all. Of them. <laughs> I love that. That yeah. doesn't usually happen, as you know. Oh, yeah. that's a nice little bat cycle. It's from the White Knight. Yep. I wish I got that figure. It's blocky. Know. It's kind of. I don't like the. It's one of the only ones I haven't bought. Like, it's, look how top heavy he is. Yeah. And then look at the bike. See how it just scales weird. It look doesn't quite fit. And that's just because the proportions of that particular Batman. Saying he doesn't do leg day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know if I'll get the bike or not. I might. Yeah, when your biceps are just as thick as your thighs, like it's a little, <clears throat> a little off. Uh, I want go. that one. I need my Hal Jordan. Another two pack. I already have one of them. From the individual release, from the death metal stuff. Interesting stand. It's not a bad looking howl right there. Mm -mm. I like the John Stewart. I have him up in the other room. Oh, and this is uh, okay. So for your six inch, yeah. but it is by three zero. It's eleven point seven inches tall, partly plastic, partly die cast. Sixty five points of articulation, two hundred and fifty dollars. Only hell, it's cheaper than the Constructicons, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now can you can you put your little Iron Man in there? But you can see like all all that articulation with the fingers and everything. Yeah, it looks good. 
I mean, especially if you're a Marvel Legends collector, this really complements your collection. Yeah, I mean, I know it's two hundred fifty dollars, but I mean, you look at something like this versus that uh, Build a Figure one that came out with Marvel Legends. The, there you go. This is yeah, this one like this is what you would want. Yeah, you because know, that other one just like cheap looking plastic. Yeah, yeah. This I think the price is pretty good for this one. Yeah, and partly die cast, all that articulation, basically twelve inches tall. And the the Hot Toys Hulkbuster, I'm scared to put that on a shelf. I can't imagine if you're thinking about putting it on a glass detolf or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, that one's heavy, man. It's heavier than it's probably as heavy as my Ecto One. It's probably one of the heaviest things I own. Oh, look, dude, the fact that he can get in there, man. That <laughs> to me. If I was into Iron Man, you know, and into the whole MCU, you know, collecting. Yeah, the Mar the Marvel Legends six inch stuff. This right. is yeah, yeah. This is then pretty good. I'll, I'll, this would be one of those ones where I'm like, okay, this would be kind of like someone breaking down and buying Unicron or yeah, uh, you know, it's like that big or Snake Mountain like we did. You know, it's that big yeah. purchase, but it goes. It is the key piece, you know. If yeah. you were like an MCU Marvel Legends collector, I think this would be kind of that key piece, just like a Snake Mountain or uh, the Cell Barge or any of that other stuff, Unicron. So to yeah. me, yeah, two fifty, and that's cheaper than what other people would have to pay for, you know, that highlight piece. Yeah. How much did that yeah. Sentinel go for? I was How just much thinking that, that yeah. again. That was about three hundred. I think so. I don't think that's near as good as this. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Now the other, I'm just, the Iron Man is separate. That you, if you want to put one in there, but yeah. But if you, still, if you if you do if you're collecting Marvel Legends, then you can put one of your you know little twenty dollar Iron Mans in there, whatever. Maybe it might work, but you wouldn't even need. I mean, just as a backdrop or yeah, like yeah. A, that nice piece, you're still all right with the just the helmet closed up and yeah, leave it like that. Get you your Marvel Select Hulk that's coming out shortly and. You're good to yeah. go. You're, you yeah. know, keep Got rolling. Lights. That's pretty clean. Yeah. That's good. I like it. All right. And now, uh, Blitzway, they're going to be doing a Voltron. No, uh, didn't say anything about size, price, or anything like that. Uh, just a transformable Voltron. Another one. Hmm. Hadn't seen this one. Me neither. I know they did the Inspector Gadget. I mean, the only thing I have of theirs is the Ghostbusters, and they're all solid. Everything from them that I have is solid. But that's cool. That's very different from what I see them doing. Nothing beats the Bandai one. Huh? Interesting. I mean, you got this is the blitz way. So you, you got the solo Shigokin, which is like probably the the best one out there. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, the masterpiece one, I own that one. It wasn't like, it wasn't that great. Man, those limbs fall off all the time and stuff. Yeah, you got the Maddie collector where the figures can actually pilot the the lions. I've got that one somewhere. And, and then the playmates one, which I ended up getting that one. I'm like, dude, this one stays together better than that die-cast masterpiece one, whatever that was really expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is Star Ace from that stupid Batman Ninja movie. Uh, <laughs> apparently it lights up as well, and this is supposed to be what he was like before he went back in time to Japan. Something. Now, you look at this, Batman fan, and I'm still like, uh, you know, I don't like it, and I don't know why Batman would like. He's supposed to be in the, at night, you know, in, in the dark, like he's being concealed and stuff. Why he would want his suit to be able to light up <laughs> and give away his position? Well, now in the Dark Knight Rises, that suit, the when he was activating that super sonar stuff, that lit up because I remember the Hot Toy lit yeah. up. So. This is Star Ace, not Hot Toys. How much do you think this thing costs? Ah, uh, no idea. Deluxe comes with, comes with that. Two fifty. Nope, more than 
Standard is three hundred, and deluxe with that extra head is three fifteen. And wow. look at the quality of this head here. <clears throat> so I'm that's, like, dude, that's that's more than what I paid for my Michael Keaton Batman Returns <laughs> figure, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, re reissuing uh, this guy. So if you miss out on a War Machine from Iron mm -hmm. Man Two, oh, I dig that. Yeah. That's cool. There's a chance. Dalton, the he calls are that uh, I guess the whole Buster, the Detolf Buster. Detolf Buster. That's a good yeah. <laughs> Movie masterpieces with die cast. Ooh. Yeah, can you just imagine? If yeah, you the first the, the these... version I have is the first version, and they were still mostly plastic back then. Yeah. I think they've done this. I feel like they've done this one three times, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, they reissued this thing twice already. I and feel like they, yeah, because they did a plastic version. I'm assuming they did a die cast version. This would be the reissue of it. Uh, Hot Toys, I'm telling you what you need to reissue. It is the Michael Keaton Batmobile. Yeah. That's yeah. what you need to reissue. Mm hmm. Cause I'm buying one. As soon as it, as soon as you say, "All right, we're you reissuing it," I'm putting a pre-order in right now. It, it, you could even say, I, "I want," but you have to pay for it all right now. Done. I want it right now. It, you know, if if it's in the Flash movie, like people are speculating, if it's really? still in the same, if it's still in the same condition and he hasn't done any augmentation to it, you might get your wish. I could see him doing that when that came out. Like that's what it's going to take for. Yeah. If they don't reissue it now, I could see him doing that. They've been, they keep teasing images uh, of his bat, the keep the next Keaton bat suit. I'm ready to see it at this point. Yeah. Uh, you're getting this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just him by himself. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm only getting one blurred for my, OG Mando from the first few episodes or whatever. Love the name. Lurg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds so 80s. It <laughs> does. It so does. Let's see. And one last thing. Uh, gonna reissue this guy too. Really? He's a good figure. I like that version. What is that? What is that? Forty-seven X. Forty-two. I think he's the Iron Man three forty-two, right? Uh, I've lost track. Forty-two. Okay. Is that, okay. Is that base? Mine didn't come with that base. Oh. I wonder if it's a, it looks different. Oh, yeah, because it's got the three on it and stuff. Yeah, they, maybe they did like a new base for it. Because the one I have doesn't come with that particular base. Uh, Action Figure Expert says, who wants to bet the Black Series HasLab is going to be a Rancor? That'd be cool. I thought, I thought that. But part of me thinks it's going to be... Um, Jabba's throne, but it will work with the 83 Return of the Jedi, but mm. also work with the, bo the Book of Boba Fett, and it'll come with that throne he sits on at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. Oh. Part, of, part of me thinks it's that, because you could do so much with it. You could please two different crowds, and they would probably put out... They did a Jabba before, but it was like... Wasn't it like a... Was it SDCC? Or it had like a cardboard throne. There's no throne with it. They could also reissue Jabba with it. Oh. I don't know. That's but Rancor is would be my second guess. Wow. Tauntaun. Uh, I don't know. With Tauntaun, uh, has put twenty dollars in the jar. He says we all know who's getting this. <laughs> so. All right, uh, Cameron Smith's yeah. got to go. Thanks for the stream. Yep, appreciate it. We're about to end it here in a bit. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, uh. Next show, we're going to be doing kind of our uh, top figures. Uh, 
you know, to the middle of the year or halfway through the year. Uh, we're going to cover that on the next show and kind of going to be start going to a less here's news on all this stuff. And basically just kind of each one of us will just kind of pick out highlights. So yeah, as far as Goku, probably no Goku. I, I, I know <laughs> this was like your number one source for Goku news, but you, never- uh, you know, like when we start looking, like if I was to look at the stuff that was like, what are my highlights of, of you know, th- th- things that are talking points as well. Not just like, hey, this is cool, you know, mm-hmm. but things that I wanted to talk about. I would say like that Sideswipe and Skywarp, is that who yeah, it was? Skywarp, yeah. Bird. Uh, that would have been one of the things I would have selected, not just because like, hey, it's Sideswipe, it's Transformers. I know you guys like Transformers, but it was like, there's we 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 talked about that for a little bit, you know, and had a conversation about it. Uh, to where we can bring more conversation uh, instead of uh, just look at things. Also, um, the uh, Wolverine little five pack, you know, kind of mm-hmm. that that would have been another thing that I would have you know brought because I'm like I here's some things that I really want to talk about, uh, you know. And Rick, he could have brought, uh, you know. Ghostbusters Day was last week, so and I've been collecting Ghostbusters, so I'm yeah. all about Ghostbusters right now. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of the direction yeah. that kind of want to go with the show. Uh, I think that you know, I'm gonna kind of go over it over the next two weeks and try to find out uh, how it can kind of fine tune it, make it uh, better, more enjoyable for you guys, more uh, engaging as well. Uh, even though I think we do a pretty good job of keeping up with the chat and yeah, you know, reading the chat uh, throughout the show, uh, but whatever can make it you know a more enjoyable, you know, stream for you guys, I think that'll be better for the show and better for y'all. So uh, let's go ahead and do sign outs. So yeah, where can I'm people Rick. find you? Rick? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. You can find me here as Sportimus. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as Sportimus Prime and behind Dalton's couch. And you can find me at G1 Extra on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1 Extra. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we will see you guys in a couple weeks. Peace.